like it's a nice sandwich, or whatever it is. Fuck off, it's not better than Five Guys. Mate, it's better than Five Guys. Don't believe me, don't say that script, man. You can't say that, I'm done. This is me. Look at the state of it. On the road with beard, 6.20 in the morning. I am very, very hungover. It seemed a good idea last night to uh, have a couple of mojitos in the bar. We have literally seven hours to sober up before Beard has to appear on the Jack Mate podcast. How do you feel, man? <laughs> You're a bad influence. I don't really ordinarily drink, but the, the, the mojitos, that was, a, that, was a, that was a mistake. Once the first one happened, the seventh one was inevitable. I was thinking we must have done a dozen mojitos. I think your mistake, so I stayed on mojitos. I, I didn't break, whereas you went on to Corona, which seems the wrong way to go. And the, beer, the beer, not the virus. <laughs> yeah, <just that. laughs> we did sit there till one o'clock in the morning, and now it's 7.10. I'm not well rested, to put it that way. In the bag, I bought you a coffee, and there's a shot, a vitamin shot or something, have a look. <laughs> a ginger shot. That, that looks like it'll um, cure the hangover. I'll tell you what will cure a hangover. A good old fashioned, I can't speak, <laughs> English fried breakfast. Needless to say, the vitamin drink did not work. So we decided to get some fresh air. We're both feeling a little bit ropey this morning. I think Josh slightly more than me. He's on the floor in the, uh, the assumed position in case anything comes back up. That's about my level of humor. Look at that bush. That's artistry right there. <laughs> What better way to cure this thing than to visit Buckingham Palace? I don't, I don't know, you have the energy for it, man. Just, just stand there all day long, perfectly still. That takes discipline. Why would you get a man to do it? Just get like a, I mean, Madame Tussauds is just down the road. Get a <laughs> waxwork and sit in there, you know? Yeah, then poor cold stream guards. It's gonna be 28 degrees today and they've got the woolly hats on. Oh yeah, you have been feeling it. That's my new house. It's gonna be the new Beard HQ. <laughs> <laughs> that was gonna be my, God, that was a joke, I'm gonna cry. Oh. You're making good money, right? Like, you, you, can, you can move in there now, surely. <laughs> I keep thinking that I should do the uh, the Queen's Daily Diet. I've seen that a few times. Is that a thing? Yeah, yeah she, apparently she's macro for breakfast. Yeah, I mean, if, uh, if it didn't work out with you and Mrs. Beard as well, I hear she's uh, recently come on the market. <laughs> the less said about that, the better. <laughs> Again, the fresh air did absolutely nothing. Time to get some food. Yes, yeah, so we tried egg slot. Even, even the, the food chains in, in London are rude. There's no need for a name like that. Right, mate, how are you feeling? Are you excited to try egg slot for the first time? You know what, I, I am excited because I, it's very rare that I actually get to have a day where I can enjoy a little bit of, you know, greasy junk food. Yeah. Because normally, like, either I'm shooting a video where it's lots of food, or I'm having a day off where it's, you know, it's tuna salad and cottage cheese with some blueberries, so I'm excited to try some, hopefully, tasty food. The, the sandwiches were good. I got the Fairfax sandwich, which I did not realise was, like, 22 quid. What was this? This was a Fairfax one, was it? Yeah. Steak. Yeah. It was a Wagyu steak thing with egg on. It was delicious, not 22 quid delicious. That is so, like, you fucking taste of that. The sausage and egg sandwich from Egg Slot. I dare say the nicest sandwich that I've ever eaten. You've fallen in love with Egg Slot. Mate, I'm telling you, right? That's genuinely the nicest burger ever. I'm, I'm, I'm calling that. Like, that is a nice sandwich. Whatever it is. Fuck off. It's not better than five guys. Mate, it's better than five guys. How can I even get away with having slut in the name? The egg slut menu completed. Time to head back for a shower and freshen up. And for Beard to put his kids' t shirt on again. What's your meal deal then, dude? Oh, I need to think about that. Um, I'm not I'm not a meal deal kind of guy, so I, I never. I, I don't remember the last time I actually had a meal deal. It's literally the only question they're going to ask you. That everything else is irrelevant. No one cares about your competitive eating or anything like that. But it's, I, it's pastrami on rye. I'll, what the fuck, I'll have to look on tesco.com or some shit for what the meal deals are. Google it. Most of the trip consisted of me listening to Beard complaining about London. It's probably be like a six quid watermelon juice or something. Oh, it's going to be expensive, that. It's going to go off one of those like dodgy markets where they're starting to go bad. Juiced it. Probably cost them 30p, they're gonna sell 40 of those today from one giant watermelon and charge six quid each. I know how London works. This is London prices. I don't, I don't feel too good anymore. Well, come across the <laughs> I say anymore, I've not felt good since I woke up. <laughs> These sunglasses are doing me many favours. So we got to the studio. This is it. Screenworks. Screenworks makes the dream works. It's like some bizarre semi-art deco thing. I mean, it looks, it looks cool. I'm not saying it, that's not a negative. It looks like the kind of place a proper top-end podcasty guy would operate from. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Like deja vu back in that studio. I was there two weeks ago. I'm back again with Jack and Stevie. But this time I wanted to ask him about his uh, his new tattoo. Can I see the uh, tattoo then? I know we saw it like rough last time. Yeah. Horrifically done. Like he's got a bit over there. He's not really joined up, joined the uh, fingers up, but it is what it is. 
it's cost what it is. a story, innit? That is a proper shit tattoo, but what a story. Fair play, Mr. Jack, mate. How the fuck do you learn to eat loads of shit? <laughs> <laughs> you don't ruin the questions. Bro. Yeah, that's all I've got. That's that question. I, I, did, I did assume that probably wouldn't be one of them. Yeah. <laughs> We was watching your hottest wings in Britain challenge, and um, you weren't you weren't allowed any water or any liquids, and you had to sit there for like five minutes after. Not yeah, that, I don't think that place exists anymore. But that they, they were, oh man, that, they were absolutely brutal. So beer was in the booth. Another solid podcast. I uh, trashed him on Twitter a little bit, saying he looked like Hagrid. The kid did well. People see my videos. That's maybe twenty actual minutes of time from a 168 hour long week. What they don't see is that I was a fast in the exercise. The fact that on the days when I'm not doing something stupid with food, I'm eating really kind of cal um, nutrient dense food. The podcast was fun. I don't remember many of the questions. I was heavily hung over, but stuff about eating pretty much. That is the hardest I've been in there for months. I am dripping. I'm dripping. I feel right. Yeah. I could have kept going, but it was just like. I saw, you, I saw you like wafted. Yeah. I'm like, that must be bad. How you feeling? Look at the, look at the bead of sweat. I never get hot. Like, I never sweat ever. And I, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, right, beard. Nothing to do with those mojitos last night, yeah? Sorry, we'll grab a few pictures and then Not we'll. Not even getting air there. The light from there might be a bit weird, but I don't know. It's all right, it's fine. Look at that tiny bearded man there, tensing for a photograph. Put on a brave face, mate. It's almost over. That's it, dude. Back to Yorkshire. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be whistling the Emmerdale Farm theme tune as we go back in there thinking Leeds. You know, I'll be... Yeah. It's, been, it's been fun, but I'm glad to see the back of London. I, I don't mind London for about a day and then I'm fucking spent on it. <laughs> on, my friend. on to the next one. Do you want to see more of Beard on the channel? Let me know in the comments below.